A directed acyclic graph or a DAG is a data modeling information structure typically used as an alternative system designed in cryptocurrencies and distributed computing. Unlike a blockchain, which consists of blocks, a DAG is made up of vertices and edges. Transactions are recorded as vertices. Similar to a blockchain, transactions are also sent to the graph from nodes or validators. Both proof of work and proof of stake are used in DAG consensus algorithms. Zooming out, a blockchain system looks more like a linear chain while a DAG system looks more like a graph. DAG models tend to be more efficient thanks to their flexibility and are seen as a possible substitute for slower blockchains. In DAGs, nodes can process and verify transactions in parallel. Since each node can have more than one parent root, the DAG nodes can process different transactions at once without having to all wait for the single parent node to finish. Just like blockchains, each new transaction must point back to the previous transaction, transactions before getting accepted into the graph. A new transaction can only be confirmed when it is referenced by another transaction. Unlike blockchains, in a DAG, transactions are bundled into blocks. Instead, each transaction is its own vertex. There are no blocks, so no mining is required. A proof of work or proof of stake proof must be submitted along with each transaction for network purposes in a DAG. Double spend attacks are protected against by each node, tracing previous edges to make sure addresses have sufficient balances and are built on a valid path. On Ethereum and Bitcoin, miners can only make one block at a time. A DAG network, on the other hand, doesn't need miners and allows multiple transactions at once. No miners and less energy consumption. Super fast transaction speeds. And no transaction fees, making it a top alternative for micropayments. The majority of projects in Web3 are built using linear blockchain technologies. However, there are a couple notable projects using DAGs. Phantom. Phantom uses a DAG to organize its network of smart computing. Phantom chose DAGs because it allows blockchains to run advanced transactions rather than simply sending cryptocurrency to one another. IOTA. Internet of Things Applications was the first popular project to implement a DAG network back in 2016. Technically, a blockchain is a DAG, with both models recording transactions on a digital ledger in a directed way. However, they differ in how they store data. These are the benefits of a DAG. Optimized for smaller and more frequent transactions. Eliminates the need for mining. It has a low energy consumption. And it has higher storage capabilities. These are the drawbacks of a DAG. It's more vulnerable to attacks due to low volumes of transactions, and it's not as decentralized. And it's, in, it's also in its infancy and doesn't have the proven concept that Bitcoin and Ethereum does. It's also less secure and easier to alter. In summary, both blockchains and DAGs will serve as a viable platform in Web3 infrastructures. Each model has its strengths and weaknesses and will be used depending on individual business objectives.